I've been out of town and unable to do a stream for a while, but this Saturday at 1 p.m., I will return to Twitch continuing revisiting Dragon Ball in HD, which is something I do on Twitch every Saturday where I watch Dragon Ball and break it down with you guys scene by scene or episode by episode. And we have discussions on it in high definition with the original high quality broadcast audio and color corrected in high definition 1080p. Something that has never been released in America or even Japan. And this coming weekend, we continue the Red Ribbon Army arc with the rest of Muscle Tower. I'll be watching some episodes with you guys. Be there this Saturday, August 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Join me, twitch.tv slash bigdgeekdom101. Remember it and be there. So let's talk about Budokai Tenkaichi 4. So Budokai Tenkaichi 4, lots of hype behind the game. It's coming out. It's being made right now. So last week, I received a text message from an actor that works at Crunchyroll, which used to be Funimation, telling me that they've begun recording lines for the English language option in Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Now, I want to clarify something. I don't know if the game's going to be called BT4 or not. That's what I'm calling it for right now. We don't have the official name of the game yet, but when I was told this last week, I chose not to do a video on it and not to talk about it publicly because I've changed the way that I cover Dragon Ball news now. When I'm given a scoop or an inside information from a credible source, I'm choosing not to really cover it because, at least not right away, because... I don't want to cover anything that's not double sourced and we as a fandom have been bitten in the rear far too many times for this to be a, a thing where I just want to rush to make a video on it. So I'm not going to do that. But I have known for over a week now that they've been working on this and there's lots of other actors who have kind of solidified this or validated it or whatever the word is. Val I guess validated it's fine. So I want to go into this TikTok here that was left by Sunny Strait. Sunny, and I'm going to go into more details here in a minute. Sunny Strait is the voice of numerous Dragon Ball characters, most notably Krillin and Bardock. Those are the two characters he's most known for. So I want to play this clip for you. Some of you have already seen this clip, but I'm going to give you a bit more information here as far as context, and I'm going to give you a big teaser about something I know about BT4 that you might be interested in. So let me go ahead and uh, get to it. Let's see here what he says, and I'll, I'll talk about it. I just got through recording a video game. A uh, lot of screaming. Uh, can't tell you the video game, obviously, but I played three very distinct characters, and my voice is shot. But I loved every second of it. So he says he played three very distinct characters and his voice is shot and there's lots of screaming. This is BT4. This confirms my previous information I got last week that Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is coming. Now I have not reached, not that it's coming, it's actually being dubbed, which means it's coming out sooner than many of us thought. Now, I have not spoken or reached out to Sonny Strait directly about this. Um, he is not the actor who told me that they were starting to record this, but it's true, it's legit. They have begun doing dialogue for the game. Now, many of you are wondering a couple of things. First of all, the three characters, who's he talking about? I'm going to get to that here in a minute. Secondly, um, the other question is, well, when is the timeline of the release of the game? Okay, for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I remember the dubbing for the English um, version of the game was done around eight or nine months before it came out. So Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is not finished yet. They want to get all the lines done in the can so they can just send them over there for the programmers to put it into the game, right? So this is a much bigger game than Kakarot. You're going to have a lot more characters. My inside information that I got is that there will be multiple gods of destruction in this game and multiple angels. Now, I'm not going to go into what I heard directly, but I'm not saying they're all going to be playable. I'm not saying that, but they will be there probably for the tournament of power. I'm going to guess uh, we know super characters are going to be in this game. So I'm not going to assume that they're all going to be playable. I don't think they will be. 
But again, you never know. There's not much I know about this game as of right now. So please hold your questions because I'm literally going to tell you everything I know. And that's all I know. That there are multiple voices that you'd be surprised are even in this. Like minor characters. So he says he voiced three distinct characters. Now, Krillin is obvious. Bardock is obvious. Both of those probably do a lot of screaming. But who's the third character? Well, Sonny Strait also voiced mummy uh, the bandages, what they called him in the dub, in Dragon Ball. I don't think it's him. Gidu in GT, he was the robot. Gil or Gidu, he voiced him. I doubt he's playable in this game, even though he might be in the menu or maybe he has a couple of voices to unlock. Then there's General Blue from the Red Ribbon Army. Now, that one is definitely a possibility of being playable, but of course, that begs the question, are they going to put Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Super characters? Will this game have more playable characters than BT3? It might. I mean, I think it will, but will it have everyone? I don't know, man. The other possibility, and this is just me guessing, is that the other character Sunny's referencing is... Dragon Ball Super's version of Bardock, which is distinctly different than the Bardock from the original Bardock special that he voiced all the way back in 2000. So, it's definitely one of those two. Gil, Gidu, whatever you want to call him, or Bardock from Super, or General Blue, one of those three. I would be shocked if it were anybody else, but you really don't know. Either way, though, this is BT4. I can confirm it. I'm confirming it with you now with absolute certainty that it is Budokai Tenkaichi 4. And if you were to think about when it could come out, I've seen some people say that it's not coming out 2024. I think that's wrong. I think this game will come out either late summer or early fall or sometime in the fall of 2024. I don't think it'll be that early in the year, although you never know. These things are hard to predict, and we've only gotten one teaser trailer for the game and no release date. But if they are already filming recordings, or they're already recording recording, recording audio for the English language version of the characters, you know, obviously many of you know Sean Shem will cancel the convention this past weekend because he had to go in for a, for a very important recording. That's what this is. At least I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't talked to Sean about this, but I'm going to assume that's what this is based on the other people I've spoken to. So with that being said, when will the game come out? Absolutely 2024. What, what month though? I'm going to guess. This is just a guess, not a confirmation. It's probably going to be sometime in the summer or in the fall. Don't think it'll be spring, although it is possible it'll be in April. It is possible. That is a possibility. I'm not going to rule that out. I just think that realistically speaking, it'll be later than that because this is a much more complex game than like Kakarot with many more characters. We'll see how the game comes out. I hope it's as good as the other ones because people have wanted this game for years, yo. I speak for many of you guys. You've told me. I've seen the comments. Let's see if we get it. Anyways, y'all, take care. That's all I have to say for right now for the video. Keep your eye on the channel for more. I'll talk to you in the next one.